Hey, what's up? Konnichiwa. Bonjour. It's been a while, guys. This is awkward. It's been two months, guys. Two months. Okay, so today I'm gonna make some German pancakes for breakfast because I'm half German. Good morning. And I'm gonna make vegetarian pizza for lunch because I haven't had a good pizza for a long time. Okay, since lockdown. And since I'm half Italian, I know I can do a good job. And for dinner, I'm gonna make a poke bowl. Or poke. How do you guys pronounce it? Poke bowl? Poke bowl? Poke. So first, I'm gonna make fresh lemon curd for our German pancake. All we need is a little lemon. It's not that little, it's pretty big. I'm gonna use gloves because I... I... I cut my finger yesterday. Acid on cuts is not the best thing ever, so... <laughs> am I recording? Oh yeah, I am recording. Gosh, this is so... No, guys! I gotta like freaking get the peel first. Alright, so we're just um, getting the peel, shred the peel. We're gonna use it later on. So I've made this lemon curd the other day. Yeah, I made this the other day. I used two lemons and it was way too sour. Was it meant to be that sour? I have no idea, guys. So we got our lemon. We're gonna cut this into half. Squeeze juice in here. So I'm just gonna add some sweetener to it. You can use sugar. You can use any sort of sweetener, I believe. You can use honey too, I guess. Now I'm gonna heat it up on the stove. Okay, while we're doing that, let's do that. Eggs! So we're gonna need two eggs. Mix this really well. I'm also gonna preheat the oven for the German pancake. Oh! This is sour. And then now I'm just gonna mix it in to the egg. And apparently I have to stir this for a minute. This is not what I signed up for. I'm not doing an arm workout today. And now I'm just gonna put the lemon peel in and heat it over the stove until it's kind of thick and creamy. So I'm not adding any butter or anything else in it because I want my recipe to be super simple. Alright, simple. Should I bring this with me? I guess I'll bring it with me. Alright, now I'm gonna show you my curd, curdy curd. So I'm just gonna heat the mixture over the stove until it turns like thick and creamy because right now it's just watery. So now it's kind of thick. It has a bit of like... <laughs> it has a bit of an egg, egg texture in it right now. Wow! Oh, that's neat! If you screw up your lemon curd, just add some milk. Next, we're finally gonna make the German pancake. We're gonna need two tablespoons of butter. I don't know what is two tablespoons of butter, so I'm just gonna put as much as I think I need. Let's bring the camera over here again because it's just so much easier over here. We're gonna need some butter. So what's two tablespoons? Can I assume that it's this much? I'm just gonna heat this over the stove. We're gonna need three eggs. I'm actually a little bit nervous about making this because I really don't want it to fail. We're gonna need some salt, some flour. I'm not gonna sift this. It's too much effort. Let's just mix it in with clumps and lumps. Mix it in. Okay, this is really lumpy. One tablespoon of the sweetener. And the last thing I need is warm milk. This is like my favorite full cream milk. It's so heavy. I use it to cook when I decide to have some milk because I am lactose intolerant so I can't have so much milk. And then I'm gonna heat it up. Anyway, so I'm gonna just pour this in and stir it. Oh! We need half a cup. Gosh. Just stir it in. And it's gonna turn really, really watery. It's really lumpy though, guys. What am I gonna do? <gasps> I think I should add some vanilla extract. I'm just gonna pour this in and then put it into the oven. And we are done. Let's pray that this works out because this is a really easy recipe. There's only five to six ingredients. You just mix them all together, pop it in the oven. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It's ready, guys. It's ready. Let's do this. 
I'm gonna pop some lemon curdy curd here. I mean, all of it. <laughs> and some blueberries. It doesn't look as nice as I thought it would be. Like, I made it the other day. It looked a lot nicer. Oh, it looks so much prettier the other day. I don't know what I did wrong today. I think it was the mixing process. I think the milk was too hot. It kind of cooked the batter, I guess. But it's still gonna taste good, so it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, like something is wrong. It's too thick at the bottom. Okay, this is pretty good. The lemon curd is so good, guys. Ah. <sighs> Scatter some icing sugar on top. Tastes really, really nice. Mm. I'm gonna make another one later or tomorrow just for the sake of the thumbnail. Let me just have a little bit more because this is quite yummy and I'm gonna share something with you guys. So I'm gonna have a new website soon. My website has been down for a long time. Like I'm gonna be including lots of recipes including what I made today or anything that I made in the past or future recipes. Tons of recipes, all my recipes on the website. I think it's a little bit early to share this but if I don't share this, I wouldn't push myself to get this website up. So it will be up by December this year or next year. <laughs> Don't stress me, guys. I'm gonna try my best to get it up by December this year, but I have so many things going on at the same time, which makes it so difficult to get one thing done because everything is working simultaneously. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Hola. One second later and it's lunchtime and I'm making cauliflower based pizza. This looks really good. There's 45% cauliflower in here. The rest are just wheat, water, salt, olive oil, and yeast. Instead of making my own base, which I know I'm probably gonna fail, I decided to buy one. So here we go. And this this looks really good. I'm not gonna lie, it smells pretty good too. I'm gonna use... <gasps> So I read that you shouldn't use something that's too thick, like tomato paste, because you're just gonna burn it when you put it in the oven. So make sure you use something that's a little bit lighter, like, like um, tomato sauce. So I have got some mozzarella over here. Wow, look at that, guys. Okay, that's a lot of cheese. And then, <gasps> I love buffalo. I think that's how you pronounce it, buffalo mozzarella. They're so good on pizza. So I'm just gonna pop a few, <laughs> it's wet. So all these little blobs are so cute, guys. And I'm gonna add some pumpkin. <gasps> I forgot my rockets. I was gonna put some greens on it, but now I don't have any greens, so it's just gonna be like a pumpkin pizza now. So I roasted all these vegetables last night, just so that I don't have to stress about it today. I'll just pop it in the oven, heat it up, and done. Smart, right? I'm gonna add some capsicum. Just a little bit, why not, you know? I wanted to add some eggplants, but I didn't cook it and I couldn't be bothered last night. It was really late when I prepped all my ingredients, so I was like, fuck it. It doesn't look that pretty, does it? It's lacking greens. I'm being really hard on myself. Like, where is the basil, guys? Where is the fresh basil? You Italians out there, like, this is not how you make pizza, Chloe. I think we are good. We are gonna pop it in the oven. This is the final look. It's done. How good does that look? I think that looks pretty good. Other than the fact that it's a little bit burnt. Wow, I'm happy. Look at all the little cheese. <gasps> yes, yes. Mm. 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 I really love the base, it's so good, wow. Okay, so I didn't finish all my pancakes just now. I left a little bit because I had quite a bit of dark chocolate this morning. Now I'm not too hungry as well, but I think I can finish. I think I can finish this. I typically prefer vegetarian pizza just because I don't really like cured meat. I don't really like the smell of it. So normally when I go to an Italian restaurant, I'll go for vegetarian pizza or just, or just really basic one, just like a few salami and buffalo, mozzarella. They are my favorite with basil. Mmm. This is so good. 
All right, guys, we're gonna make some shave ice, like those Japanese, Korean, fluffy, snowy, cloud-like, creamy, amazing shaved ice. They're normally quite creamy, like it's not icy at all. So you're not like eating ice. Well, it is literally shaved ice, but I think what's different is that the Koreans use frozen milk. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna try it out. I got this machine over here, all the way from Japan. I got a transformer just so that I can use it because our voltage is different. It's gonna explode if I don't use a transformer and I'll die in the process. So I'm not gonna try to die today. I'm gonna try to survive. I seriously have no idea how to use this because I can't read Japanese. I need my Sam. Sam, help me. I'm gonna pop this open. How do you open this? Can someone help? Oh, okay. There we go. I'm just gonna pop the eyes here. Pop it in here. In. Huh? close this though oh you just press it down <laughs> Such a nervous. I'm trying to figure this out without reading the manual I'm just like yeah this is the machine I washed it and now I'm just gonna use it let's try this oh my god I'm so excited dude this is so cool The problem is though, I don't have any condensed milk or any sort of syrup and I forgot to sweeten my milk so it's just milk without any sweetness to it. I'm gonna put some strawberries on top. Okay, so I've sweetened some milk and put it in the freezer. So now it's cold and sweet because I don't have any condensed milk. So this is all I can come up with, okay? There you go. Oh, it's pretty satisfying. It melts in the mouth, guys. Can you see how creamy it looks? The creamy, fluffy eyes. Lactis. I'm gonna get a stomachache. I'm so glad I bought this little machine. I mean, it was really expensive because they jacked up the price on eBay all the way from Japan, so I, I get it. So the key is to actually get a good machine as well because I've seen some that are quite icy like Grenada slushy is kind of icy so you can feel the ice particles that they're quite rough and big These ones, they are so delicate <laughs> So it tastes like it's snowy icy Does that even make sense? Oh my god, I can't explain this but this is so good guys I'm happy I've been really happy today because I've been eating the things that I wanted to eat for the last couple of months because of lockdown, I haven't been out at all since March. I went out for like three walks, I think, so far. Three, not even to grocery stores or to the store because we're still in the stage four lockdown over here. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know that my mental health hasn't been that great because I've been so busy and I just released the latest program which is Get Peachy I worked very hard for this booty program along with Brett It's just something that's really different So if you're looking to build a booty, I definitely recommend you to just give it a try But obviously you gotta eat enough Like if you don't eat enough, like you gotta be in a calorie surplus in order to, for you to see a bigger change It's really hard to grow a booty if you're on a calorie deficit or maintenance diet So you gotta eat a little bit more One of the things that I'm really excited about is that in this this program we set up a like a progression page where you get to submit your day one measurements and your picture and also your day 30 or day 28 picture and measurements I'm super excited because this I think at least a thousand of you guys that have submitted your progression photos like your day one photos so I can't wait so this is the page on my program page so you just have to click on submit your progress you can just submit your measurements and the stats will be available on the 6th of November um, because obviously we just launched this program like a week ago now you can see like all the before images of everyone which is so amazing like this thousands of images are insane just like freaking insane 
Are you guys excited to see this? Because I am. And also because of this program, I decided to do the same for Two Weeks Red 2020. So the newer Two Weeks Red, which a lot of people don't know about. A lot of people think that 2020 Shred is going to be easy. I love planning the whole program. It was definitely more challenging, 100% more challenging. And I think that it's just more fun because there's more varieties and also the intensity went up. So if you've done it, share your results and I'll hopefully do a video in the future sharing these results. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Last meal of the day. Look at how pretty that looks. That was definitely not what I expected it to look like. So this poke bowl has some rice underneath. I've added rice vinegar and stevia to it. So it's so it tastes like sushi rice, you know what I mean? And I'm adding some seaweed topping on it. Oh my god, I can't wait to start. This is gonna taste so good. And we got some grilled salmon here as well because grilled salmon is just the best. All right, this is so easy to make. These are pre-made from the store and some of these are fresh ingredients and some are just roasted vegetables from yesterday which I used on the pizzas. It's really easy. If you can't eat salmon, you can always use tofu because tofu is always so nice on poke bowl. This is so good. <laughs> if you have never tried king salmon before, you gotta try it, man. It's literally the best salmon breed because it's so fat. Like, it's so soft. It's so tender. It feels like Wagyu beef, I guess, like Kobe beef. It's really, really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more food related videos, let me know down in the comments because this is my first food video in two months. Two months. Because I have been very, very busy. I actually do get quite stressed out from all my programs because recording it, editing it, finding music is so time consuming guys. Like each program takes takes about three weeks at minimum from planning, from filming. And for Brett's program, he went back and forth a few times just to get the final, final routine set. So that took a bit of time and two weeks red also took a long time. Yeah, every program takes a long time and that's the reason why I get so burnt out after my programs. That's why my mental health just go mm -mm. <laughs> after every program. <laughs> and I think that's the reason why I decided, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna put out another program in November. I might, I might put out another program in November because I have something in mind that I really wanna do, but I feel like it might be a bit too much for me right now. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna put out workouts, but maybe not in a program. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me rambling and eating at the same time. <laughs> Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you wanna see next because I actually wanna know. I'm not asking you to comment for the sake of, sake of commenting. I mean, just comment anyway, but I really do wanna know. All right, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, Anong Jana. Ciao. Guten night. 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 Good night.